right. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is W3 Develops. We're going through React, and today uh, we're going to be talking about React components. Uh, we've got six of us here in the chat, and um, I won't uh, hang us up anymore. We're kind of late tonight, but um, we'll see as far as we can go tonight. And um, yeah, so I'm sharing my screen. <clears throat> We're going through create a React component tonight. All right, the other way to define a React component is the ES6 class syntax. In the following example, kitten extends react.component. So the class kitten extends react.component. And then we've got, this is an object of constructor props, super props, and then render return h1 hi. All right, so this creates an ES6 class kitten, which extends the react.component class. So the kitten class now has access to many useful React features, such as local state and lifecycle hooks. Don't worry if you aren't familiar with these terms yet, they will be covered in greater detail in later challenges. Also notice the kitten class has a constructor defined within, within it that's call, that calls super. It calls super to call the constructor of the parent class, in this case, react.component. The constructor is a special method used during the initialization initialization of objects that are created with the class keyword. It is best practice to call a component's constructor with super and pass props to both. This makes sure the component is initialized properly. For now, know that it is standard for this code to be included. Soon you will see other uses for the constructor as well as props. My component is defined in the code editor using class syntax. Finish writing the render method so it returns a div element that contains an h1 with the text hello react. All right. So we're going to create something like what they've got here for the render. So we've already got our render, and now we just need to return an H1 and just say hello text. Is that what it said? Yeah, hello react. All right. Hello react. All right, so let's run the test. Uh, yeah. oh, div, div, uh, yeah, I misread that, div. Maybe in a semicolon on the folder it's up. <coughs> It's a div that contains the H1. Okay, now we can run it. Yeah. Okay, any questions here? Anybody wanna? I'm actually curious why, why they wanna use constructor and props and super. That's not clear at all. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, like it's gonna bother me that I don't know why we why we use that. Does anybody else have that question? React. Uh, you want? Yeah, I was gonna say you want to Google it or core it. Component constructor. 
Yeah, I just I want to read about this. Like, why? Type it. Type in. Type in core after that. Or, or yeah, go right there. I'm just gonna go to the React docs. Yeah, that's perfect. Because that's not enough information. That's just like skimming the surface, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. React lets you de define components as classes or functions. Components defined as classes currently provide more features which are described in detail on this page. To define a React component class, you need to extend react.component. The only way, the only method you must define in a react.component subclass is called render, the render function. All the other, or is that, you call it a method or you call it that? Yeah, I guess you have to call it a method. All the other methods described on this page are optional. Elliot, what was your original question? What is the point of using a React component constructor? Yeah, like um, we strongly recommend against creating your own base component classes in React components code reuse is primarily achieved through composition rather than inheritance. Okay, so we're getting here. So, okay. So this is where the concept of mounting is. Okay, component life cycle. Each component has several life cycle methods that you can override to run code at particular times in the process. You can use this life cycle diagram as a cheat sheet. All right, let's go look at that. Let's see what that is. Life cycle diagram. Okay, I'm glad I asked this, because look, okay. I want to say I've seen this. Uh, Click on it, that's cool. I've Click seen this structure. diagram as like a really important uh, thing to understand. Go, go back to that, yeah. Yeah, but I'm just talking about this in general. Yeah. Understanding what takes place with the constructor and then render. And then if the component did mount. What's that? The component did update or did, and then the component will unmount. What's mounting? That's, that's what we're reading about. Okay. Okay. So yeah, here's constructor. Which, which do you think I should read first? Top to bottom. This one mm -hmm. or this one? I think they're the same page, aren't they? Which no, first? well, they are which the one? same page, I think. Which, yeah, whichever one comes first on that page? Yeah, I think. Yeah, then let's read on this page. Okay. Right. Mounting, these methods are called in the following order with an instance of a component. When an instance of a component is being created and inserted into the DOM. So there's constructor, static get derived state from props, render component did mount. These methods are considered legacy and you should avoid them in new code. Unsafe underscore component will mount. Okay, updating. An update can be caused by changes to props or state. These methods are called in the following order when a component is being re-rendered. Static, get derived state from props, should component update, render, get snapshot before update, component did update. Okay, I still don't understand what mounting is. Why do we need mounting in the first place? Uh, so have have you gotten to the uh, to the class syntax on a um, on a free code camp? Like use class syntax on on ES six. Uh, I think so. I mean, okay. just wondering. So I was reading the free code camp challenge, and I noticed it said. 
I mean, this, this, uh, the jargon for React in this way is not ES6. No, it's a, no, for this problem we were reading, create a React component. It says the other way to find a React component is with the ES6 class syntax. Yeah, I think that has to do with that first part where it extends. Ah, uh, okay. That's all that is. Okay. So it's just a class, well, like. Okay, maybe I can, I can say what I understand from React. Uh, when you have in a React class, when you have a constructor, it means that when, when you create a new instance of the component, the, ins the constructor will be called and then it will it will take the props from the, the React component. And the word super means that it will inherit what the parent has, all the features that the parent has. Yeah. That's not as simple as I understand. Yeah, so that's what, <laughs> this is ES6 right here, actually in this. Yeah, yeah it's CS6. When it says this, that's talking about the object or the, the class from welcome. Yes. Mm. Yes. And then so there's the there's properties and then there's an attribute called name. Name, yes. So yeah. like within welcome, the object or class will have like collected input. So like the input for name would might be would have been uh, John. Like when you signed up to get into the site, you said, my name is John. So it collected that as a property. Yes. And then it stored it within this. Yeah, mm. with that, with that then, object. This yeah. is the object, the welcome object. <clears throat> and so within that, it it stores it, it like component. as its own like component. Um, yeah. React whole, dot component. The whole of that is a component. Yeah, but React dot component means React has many uh, methods, but we are just taking only the component. Right. Yeah. And we are extending. Uh, yes. Extending from that component to our yes. new co new component. Yes. Yeah, that means we are yeah, using the class one. Then itself wouldn't be able to do what React is doing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's 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 it. Yeah. So this, this is enough. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then constructor begins the mounting process, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Let me just read this real quick. Let me, let me see <clears throat> how far away this is from where we were. Yeah, it's not that far. So we're like right here. Okay, so just to get a better understanding. Okay, when called, it should examine this.props and this.state and return one of the following types. So React elements, like we've already done JSX and it returned divs and you know the parent um, arrays and fragments, portals. String and numbers, booleans, okay. Hold on, sorry. Uh, one sec, guys. I need to help my wife real quick. What is it? One sec. Sorry guys, I'm back. All right. Okay. Render, okay. Okay, so now let's look at component or a constructor. The constructor for a React component is called before it is mounted. Okay. 
when implementing the constructor for a React component subclass, you should call super props before any other statement. Otherwise, this dot props will be undefined in the constructor, which can lead to bugs. Typically, in React, constructors are only used for two purposes: initializing local state by assigning an object to this dot state, binding event handlers handler methods to an to an instance. You should not call set state in the constructor. Instead, if your component needs to use local state, assign the initial state to this dot state directly in the constructor. Okay. This dot state. Okay. Okay, so this would be something like for yeah, a counter button where you're on the click. It's gonna it's gonna perform some kind of action, you know, stored up in bind. Whatever you're telling it to do in bind, then it's likely that it's gonna increment it. You know, from zero, it's gonna increment it up. But to even begin that, you have to con use the constructor, and it's going to take all the props that you set up in the component. And what was super for again? What is it saying super is for? I may not have got that. Okay. All right. I think that's that satisfies me enough. Does that does that help anybody else? Yeah, you were saying what, what is super? It says right here, super, it uses super, super to call the constructor of the parent uh, class. Yeah. Uh, that's on free code count. Okay. Yeah, I think this will just be something Which that we, this case, I, we understand we further it. along the way, but yeah. Uh, yeah, for now, I think I think that satisfies me. Is everybody else good? Any other questions, things they wanted to know before moving on? No. Good for now. Okay, all right. I'm going to run it. Uh, oh, wait. Let me... Yeah, let me go ahead and swipe this. And I'm going to put this in my VS Code real quick. And if I throw this in there, will this screw things up? One way to find out, I guess. Let's see. I may have to. Um, yeah, let me just see if it, it's working. I'm going to go live. So let's see if the hello react. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't populate. All right, let's see. My component class react that component. You have to. Uh... You have to uh, mount the my component. You have to send it to J6 or something. The my component. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're getting into mounting questions. So I need to perform something like this. <clears throat> no, the, un the under the hood part. Inside J6, like. Up, you have J6 element. Up. Oh, up. Okay. Uh, no, this is down. Up. So you have, I mean, the J6. You have some J6. Do I need to swipe this and put it with oh, it? Doesn't matter, actually. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, what I would do is that to put uh, that, that component inside J6, like after UL, like. Okay. Or after the by the end of the HR. Ah, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. Call, call the. So if I drop it in here, 
Uh, no, 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 not dropping, only the my component, called the my component. Uh, okay. The component, my component, the name only, put it there, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see, did I capitalize that? One sec. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. I didn't even know you were supposed to capitalize re the DOM and React, like all the letters. That's why I was messing <laughs> up on that on the fourth challenge from yesterday, I wasn't capitalizing the uh, uh yeah. the my component. this part. No, no, the my component name. name. No, I was saying to John, he was saying, Oh, yeah, ah, okay. yeah, one sec. I am kind of challenged right now because I'm, yeah, that hold, one holding but my you have to, okay, All right. you have to put it in a in a, in a HTML bracket, <laughs> like HR, self. Uh, uh, square bracket? Let's just do it, Like self-closing, yeah. Oh. Ah, come on. Element. Oh, P. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like one-handed. No, right no, now. no, it, it works when it wants to work, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Because you are in J6, uh, you cannot, yeah, you have to. Yeah, so oh. I'm like one handed right now trying to do this. It's okay, dude. It's, uh, it's a lot really hard to do this one handed. Okay, all right. Now well, to, let's save. <clears throat> you have to call the my component uh, as a. This is just, uh, it will, yeah, but you have okay. to call it like um, the class email. yeah yeah no no just like as as the hr you have to make it instead of hr my component like HTML. Oh, no <coughs> way okay i got what you're saying no 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 i know what you're saying now yeah you have to so call it like calling a function a component like, has become a tag yeah that's what yeah. it is ah yeah, snap to. This means, by the way, earlier, this means that you are calling really? my component function. That's it. There's nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> so this thing itself has become... Like function call. Yeah. But it, yeah. It's, it's become a part of the DOM. Oh, yeah. that's what we're doing? Yeah. Oh, snap. I forgot about this. Oh, man. Now, that is so now, cool. Now you can save it. Let me see. If my component is rendered, oh, I broke it there. I don't think I mounted it. I think that's the problem. Ah, let me see. Ah, dang. Let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah, and then you got the ES6 uh, <laughs> tools. Mm. Okay, so what's going on here? Click on it. Is that, is that the React DevTools? Uh, go to console. Console. Can you, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So one in React. The type is invalid. What's going to pop up if you click on React? Is it the same tools? Oh, uh, here? Uh, yeah, actually. Waiting for yeah, Rich to load. Right. But the console is the best now that it. Yeah, let me look here. Uh, in a div component. I've been forgetting to save my versions on ES, uh, on, on VS code. <clears throat> this one looks nifty. Saying on. Is, uh, is it inside one div? Uh, the, the J6. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is one div. Is yeah, one div. Uh, yeah. Oh, but it, um, it it did kind of like. No, it's in one div. It's in one div. Yeah, I it it didn't like it, but you can put it in instead in the render the dump. Like if you go down. In render uh -huh. in, instead of JSX, you can put my component and you, you can see that it's rendering. 
Okay, let's see what it is. Yeah. La, yeah, less than. Yeah. yeah. But inside the bracket, not <clears throat> inside the like less no, than. Let's just, <laughs> yeah. What I need to. No, 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 no. Just inside the bracket. No. Uh, no, 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 no corners. Just make like that. Yes. Here. Like, yeah. Uh, co co this one cuts this and then paste it inside inside random yeah take all that one okay cut it cut it because we don't. put it inside my component that one inside yes yeah Remove ah, okay. and paste it here yeah okay yeah now now we can okay. render but <clears throat> but this uh, sometimes yeah let's see how it reacts Uh, nothing. So I think it's an issue with my component. No, something. because uh, maybe it's an issue something. with uh, Oh, I think I swiped have my something, component. yeah. Did I take... No, okay, so my component is there. Uh, is there something that... What's this chain? What's inside this? What's going on? I mean... In the... There is one that... Wait a minute. But the my component should be in itself. It's not uh, inside maybe something. It's it not be. closed off. I think that's the problem. Uh, I think I didn't get. I think I didn't get something. Yeah, this. Okay. Okay. Let's see what it's doing now. Okay. So let's see. I was gonna say, if that was the problem, we should have told you on the uh, council. Um, it's not telling you in the council what's wrong? One sec. Let me swipe all of this. Yeah. And then. I don't even know where to put that up. Where do you put it up? I think I did take it, but. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, but this one I don't understand what this curly brace down there like here these yeah which is the ending what's the ending? yeah I need to have that color huh? yeah I do I, I have that thing right now and it's working freaking beautifully I'll Prettier, tell you. like I had it installed um, in my other version of something give me a sec I'll tell you right now what it is what I have enabled at least because whatever it is it's making it look beautiful so I have beautify and I have it pair bracket pair extension. colorizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I have that also. Was it beautify? No, it's bracket pair colorizer. Colorizer, yeah, colorizer. Mm -hmm. Let me get bracket that. pair. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Let me install this. I, I've yeah. I've worked with that before. I don't know why it's not on this machine though. Yeah, I've never seen this working for my HTML and CSS, but right now. Like all my JavaScript, it's really cool. Okay. It's like uh, you know, the bracket pairs, in a really interesting way. Okay. Should it be working now? Yeah, it should be working now. Okay. But it's not. Let me save. No, it's, it it won't work because it's a dot HTML. So your file name is dot HTML, so it won't work. <clears throat> be in a JS or Good JS, yes. Uh, but no, I mean it's it's working on my HTML page. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Here, uh, you want me to share my screen, Elliot? Right quick, I'll show you. Yeah, Let's go ahead. Click. Let me uh, stop sharing. Okay. Um, all right. So if you noticed, see how my uh. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, one sec. And then you see how it goes like that. Kind of like yeah, see yeah. the corresponding or the paired uh, brackets. That's that's what it's doing. Beautify. No, no, it's the it's the pair colorizer that's doing it. Here, I'll show you that's all my pair colorizer. Yeah, I'll show you all my. I have a bunch of extensions. <clears throat> but uh, the one that's doing that is um the bracket pair colorizer. Uh. 
<laughs> you have so many <laughs> extensions. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I, I know. Uh, it. Do you guys know Code Sandbox? I don't know. Uh, I've heard of it. I've never used it or looked into what it does. What is it? It's really um, nice. Go to go to web. Open your Chrome or something. Yeah, because it it's, it helps us a lot of time. Uh, just write code sandbox. Code sandbox. Yeah. Yeah. Io. Yes. I think it's, uh, yeah. And you can log in with your GitHub so that you can push or create whatever you are doing. You can log in with your GitHub, for example. <clears throat> I've heard somebody tell me about this before. What's, uh... It's really neat and it's really, uh, you don't have to care about. Uh... Which one's oh, okay. Code Sandbox? Yeah, so you, you logged in, right? With your... um, I, I don't think I logged in, but I, this is their text editor right here. Oh, you're talking no, about... But oh, you have to yeah. choose uh, uh, React instead of that. Uh, Go to the okay. Sandbox, the, the home. Uh, the home the, to the left yeah or oh, react yes yes that one to that one and now now okay. now paste uh, copy from the uh, from free code camp and we play here <coughs> yeah oh so that, that links up with your github too yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. push immediately there. So uh, to the code sandbox, let's uh, uh, let's remove what unnecessary. We don't need. Uh, oh, for so you example, sign in with GitHub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and sign in for with example, GitHub. Nice. And then you can fork and you can do whatever you, you want. It's really oh, that's handy. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I might start doing that then. Yeah, dude, that is a nice cash. Yeah, let me get that popping. All right, now you said remove what's unnecessary. I don't know what's unnecessary. Yeah. This uh, function, is that it? I mean, what we don't need. For example, we don't need styling. Like, uh, what about this function? Can yeah, we don't, need, we don't need. This what about this constant? Yeah, here? We, need, we, need, we need those two only. Yeah. And then, yeah, so we need this, we, these two, and this. No, we need those. We did all of them. Yeah. All right. Now we can paste from the <clears throat> from the free code camp and change uh, up the app name with my components, like the name only. In the React dot uh, React DOM in the below there is app. Can you see? In the in the last line of in line nineteen. There is up. Oh, okay, okay, I see. So we don't need that. We need my component in. Yes, right, my component. Yeah. Yes, my component, and that's it. So it will render Hello React. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> ah, nice. Hey John, why don't you just keep going with the next lesson and read that one out? Okay. And uh, oh. we'll use we'll use that uh, code sandbox. Yeah, uh, we can, can also I... share from from his if you share it. Really? With that, yeah, 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 yeah. You can. There is a share or something button, then it will create a URL. So it, from the right corner on your picture on the profile, there is share. Yeah, you can share the URL, and everybody can. And we can all collaborate on the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same page. Oh, snap! Yeah. yeah, that's really cool, dude. That's pretty dumb. Totally right it. That's all. I just yeah, changed my outlook. I'm gonna copy the link. There is a link. Copy link. Yeah, nice. uh, yes, and then everybody can do. Yeah, so it's like, I'm gonna paste like it in the literally chat. the same page. Yeah, nice. Hey, somebody else join me right quick. I want to see what it looks like. If Are you doing it in Zoom? No, yeah, yeah, I posted it in Zoom. Okay. Also, could you guys tell me what I need to delete in my VS Code right here so that I can, uh, I want to I wanna push the what we just did, right? So, like, what should I keep and what should I delete in this? 
All right. So here, I'll just go down and because we probably have to keep this, right? I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna paste in, no. How do I say how do I say what I'm doing? Do you see what I just did in the code sandbox? Let me see. Did, um nah. no. change change re, change react hello react if you're doing anything. Oh uh, no, I didn't even say hello react. One sec. Uh let's see. Yeah, mine looks totally different. Does it? Uh, one sec. Did you put, you just put the embed new? That just gives me a new there. It doesn't give me, yeah, share, share yours. It's not letting me edit it either. Copy the link and then, yeah, drop that in there. Okay. Into the chat. Pasted. Um, configure. Oh, so you can configure the appearance. Because I'm yeah, I'm working from this Hello Sandbox, not uh, Hello React. The editor URL, yeah, it was that different one. Hold on, was go it? back to share. All right. And then go down, it says editor URL. Is that is that the one that he needs to get, um, Jamal? Uh, that might be the one, I'm not sure. Yeah, see what that does when you open that. All right. Or do you want me to paste it to you guys, or do you want me to uh, do it myself? Test it out and see what that does. If that opens okay. it up again. All right. Did that even do anything? Uh, let's see. Loading the sandbox. Yeah, that just opened a brand new one. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, no, it, it's, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, manipulate that one and then see. Uh, Ma manipulate one on one tab and then see what it does on the other tab. I'll just leave that. I wonder if there's a way to save though. Is there a way to save? Do you know? Oh no, I'm 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 editing the actual copy. I think it's updating it there. Is if it you go to that other go to the other tab. Hmm. I think maybe uh, if I didn't. Pulling to a maybe, you have, repository. maybe you have to push. Yeah, like maybe you have to push. Uh, okay. Yeah, since it is connected to GitHub, you probably do have to like uh, commit and you have to commit your changes. Yeah. I'm pressing Control S. All right, I just saved it. Um, what is this link right here? I think this might be the link we're looking for. Yeah, because that looks like it's a unique ID. Here, I'm gonna paste it in the uh, chat. Tell me if you see that, right. and then change something like change it and press save or something. Transpiling modules. Yeah, that's it. But it's not the. Uh, Is it live? It's just the live page itself. It's not. Um, Oh, it's not the code editor. Yeah, it's just the it's just the um, the page without the editor. I just deleted React. Do you see, oh wait, I'm gonna save it. I just yeah. deleted, and now I had just saved it. Do you, do you see React gone? Yeah, it just says hello. 
Okay, cool. Hello, right, space, so exclamation that, point. So let's see. That, that's just like a GitHub pages link. But it's a sandbox link. But they, so there's got to be a way that you can edit it yourself, right? I'm not sure. But uh, that'd be cool. I'm assuming like, there is. Like collaborate. Right. That's pretty it's dope, though, still. To invite others, you need to generate a URL. Invite others to edit. Ah, uh, OK. Yeah, do that. All right. There we go. That should be it. Nice. All right. <laughs> then now you got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, you you have to We're also just... chat enable or something. I don't know. Is there something? Yeah, make make it uh, like as user friendly yeah. as yeah. it, as it yeah. can. <clears throat> nice. Uh, open. Everyone can edit also the mode. Like. Yeah, it's open. Like yeah. Nice. All right. Man, this is about to be. You, pretty. but uh, did you for like uh, you have to like first you have to create from your GitHub the this okay. commit or something. Alright, I'm trying yeah. to link. Alright, I'm off work. There is a uh, the left to, in the left corner. There is a GitHub right, I'm in icon. Here. I don't know. Sandbox. <laughs> So ah, editing, editing. Oh, oh, now I have to. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, I just, I'm forking this right now. Elliot, can you also do, uh, is it also put you only for the, uh, for the code or you can also do uh, some graphical UI also, UI check, is it? Uh, oh. Graphic UI check. Yeah, can you move your cursor all over? Like, is it off? Yeah. Okay. So you can see. What I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh man, this is pretty dope, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. This is pretty nice. Ah, oh, where am I? Uh, did I eat her or? Good suggestion. Serious. Dude, so we can all I freaking on same page. Even for the JavaScript, there is a holy a vanilla JS. You can just create that vanilla JS and then we continue from there. I wanna I wanna know how I wanna <clears throat> like explore this stuff. This looks super dope. Oh man. What is the name of the extension that allows this? Uh, within um, within code sandbox or what do you mean? Is it just a code sandbox extension that allows this collaboration? You can use it. You can do this in VS Code too. But yeah, this is code sandbox. Right. We're no, testing out right here. Can you show the link? I have. I can't see the link. That's in the you chat. Can't. Um, it's uh. Oh, no, Junior, no man. I didn't even know you were in here, man. What's up? <laughs> Junior's just hanging out. It's, <laughs> Junior, uh, what's up, homie? It's the link that John posted at 12.31 a.m. Yeah. Here, here, I'm going to send the, yeah, another one out. But <clears throat> should I? Yeah, okay. Okay, can you see me now? I'm um no. it told me when Mesfin came on. Get it? I don't see you. Uh, I can't. I wonder if I can see like a list of everybody that's I cannot get it. I mean uh... Oh no. Wait a minute. It says so no other users the... are in the session. You opened the link, right? The eight thirty one. Uh so after that what did you do? Um you're talking to me? Do we still have a live session? No, no, I think it restarted or something. All right, so uh, Jamal's in. Yeah, I get, I get kicked out, I think. It says Jamal's a spectator. He should be a... Uh... <coughs> you know, now... Uh, okay, we can send... I'm going I'm to have yeah. to go back to that link, yeah. I'm going to go back. It's the first one <laughs> I just posted. 
Okay, you're Jonathan, using the can first you... link or the second link? Can you see me? I'm editing us, all right? Yeah, I see you. Okay. okay. I'm in now. Oh, this is super awesome. Let's do. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Okay, let's do this now. Free cup sheet. <laughs> 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 Mama, who did cook nice. Good night, fellas. Oh, Mansfield is right again. What you going to bed, dude? <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all have a good one. You have a good night, man. Yeah, we, we can probably end it here. I mean. You want to end? You want to do one yeah. more time? Or you want to end? Uh, let's just end it here. I would say... <laughs> Everybody do some reading there on what we studied there. Um, okay. Yeah, I got to be up. Dang, I didn't realize it. it was so late. I actually got to do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll do I think we'll just, in the morning. we'll just, we'll call it. Why don't we, what if we started tomorrow night with going over how we got this part? Yeah, that yeah. would be a good we idea. Mama! <laughs> I'm going to mute you, Jamal, real quick. But, uh, yeah, I would just say um, just make sure you understand the the class my component extends and constructor and super. And just like, I don't know, get real like geeky and technical about it and just come ready to like spill your guts on what you learned about that. Like, Sounds good. And even like, like the, the mounting, like this diagram that we went over. Because I know that for a fact, this is going to be like super important to be able to understand. Um, I'm trying to pull it up. Uh, Here, you show your screen. Yeah, let me share my screen. But the, okay. This button always gets in the way. All right. Uh, where did I have that? Uh, no, no. Okay, yeah, so this diagram. Here, you want to paste that? In a... Go ahead and study this and get geeky about it on your own time. and uh, Or like watch videos of people talking about this. But I think this diagram is pretty important to understand. And would you post can that you in the JavaScript? Can you URL in the chat, please? Yeah, if you would paste that in yeah. the Yeah, I'm going to put it actually in Discord um for our study yep. session yeah and i'm just gonna say homework um nerd nerd out on this <laughs> yeah and let's chat at the beginning of class tomorrow tomorrow yeah okay and then specifically, we covered constructor and props and super. Okay. So I'll also put that in the chat. Did you ever push your uh, work? Out from VS Code? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I will. Okay, so constructor. I haven't figured out, I didn't even. Oh. I didn't Not really. Yeah. I'll figure that out tonight before I go to sleep. And then super. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get it to work before I go to bed. Instructor super and um the chart linked below. But yeah. Okay. But uh yeah, I'm gonna stop the recording, but um Whoever wants to like just hang out, we can still hang out and try to figure out how to get the code to work. But uh, okay. uh, if you're watching the video to this point, uh, leave us a comment of your thoughts on the chart or any of these topics that we're talking about here. And uh, we look forward to talking about it in the next video. Happy coding, everybody. Happy coding. I'm going to stop the recording.